Barack Obama's final State of the Union address was an unintentional demonstration of the physics of football, which is to say, those goalposts won't move themselves. In 2010, the president warned that we can't have another Bush-style economic expansion with stagnant wages and low job growth. But after an even more sluggish Obama recovery, the president is now going after straw men. Anyone claiming that America's economy is in decline is peddling fiction. In 2009, Obama said we must address the growing costs of Social Security. 2016? That's why Social Security and Medicare are more important than ever. We shouldn't weaken them, we should strengthen them. And six years ago, the president said if we don't take meaningful steps to rein in our debt, it could damage our markets, increase the costs of borrowing, and jeopardize our recovery. Trillions and trillions of dollars of debt later? As in basically every single one of his State of the Union speeches, the president vowed to create green jobs, decried hyperpartisanship in Washington, and said he would cut unnecessary regulations. Wait, who's in charge of regulations in Washington now? And as usual, he gave a ridiculously unreachable task to his good friend Joe Biden. You know, last year, Vice President Biden said that with a new moonshot, America can cure cancer. A new national effort to get it done. And because he's gone to the mat for all of us on so many issues over the past 40 years, I'm putting Joe in charge of mission control. Mr. President, you're not the only one with senioritis here. To be more charitable, there are positive nods toward criminal justice reform, closing Gitmo, though we've heard that song before, and about keeping the national discourse elevated above Trumpian levels. And though he doesn't use the word, Obama's foreign policy is more rooted in realism than most of the Republican presidential field. But even there, the goalposts have been moved and the rhetoric is still creepy. Five years ago, Obama was bragging about the lasting partnership with the Iraqi government. This year, bupkis. Unless you think the war machine has been ground to a halt, grok this. When you come after Americans, we go after you. And it may take time, but we have long memories and our reach has no limits. So is there a better way to deal with this annual exercise in empty pageantry? Sure, have the president submit the damn thing in a letter like Thomas Jefferson used to. Until then, at least we can rest assured that Barack Obama still believes in us. I believe in you, the American people. And that's why I stand here as confident as I have ever been that the state of our union is strong.